small brands uh really should say small th third party sellers spend three times more on amazon ads than one piece sellers or big brands um, so it says amazon sellers especially third party brands are spending significantly more on advertising than established first party brands to compete on the platform according to smart scouts analysis 3p brands allocate 127 percent more on sponsored products and 146 percent more on sponsored video ads relative there to their revenue compared to 1p brands the dependency on amazon as a primary channel for 3p sellers drives this ad investment contrasting with larger brands that benefit from brand recognition and can afford to spend less on bottom of funnel advertising as amazon opens access to more advanced advertising tools including dsp for smaller brands 3P sellers may have new opportunities to balance brand building and direct response ads, intensifying comp competition across all stages of the sales funnel. Um, and they've got this little graphic here that kind of breaks everything down for us. Um, so some pretty cool information, and I think maybe highlights a little bit as to why Amazon is kind of pushing some people away from 1P and towards 3P because they uh, maybe want those extra ad dollars. Yeah. 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 And and I also think some of these 1P brands, I mean, and they touched on this a little, like the Huggies and the Adidas and the Apples of the world. I mean, the, the brand recognition for those companies is so massive that the ad spend on Amazon doesn't need to be near as large as it would be for like a medium sized three piece seller who's looking yeah. to scale their company. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking too. They, they spend that much more because they're competing with someone who's looking for the big brand. Yeah. Yeah. But I think this applies, you know, they talk about big brands and small brands, but this applies to any size of brand because if you look at, first party sales, anything that's sold by Amazon resale, a majority of those listings are garbage. Yeah. So the brands are not doing anything to improve their sales. So they're definitely not running ads. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I contact these companies to try to let, let me help them and sell third party for them and increase their sales and everything. And most of them don't even know anything about sales on Amazon. They're just selling to amazon.com because somebody got them connected into vendor central at some point. Yeah. Those mm. are my favorite. Those are my favorite type of companies to pull away from one P yes. and, and present to them the value of working with a company like ours or yours, Todd, or, I mean, there's yep. just so much more control over what Amazon does. Yeah. So with one P I, I, I think the only people who should be on one P are brands that have significant brand presence and don't they can rely on their brand name to sell their products yes. for them other than that pretty much everyone should be doing 3p either themselves through brand partnerships with someone like myself or eric or working with uh you know a an agency that's going to help them run their products things like that something but they definitely shouldn't be doing 1p if they actually want to increase their sales on amazon yeah yeah and, and correct me if i'm wrong but i almost feel like the data i mean it makes sense that 3p sellers are selling sending more because right here on what you're sharing it's it's 7500 brands versus forty thousand brands yes mm -hmm. you know so it's mm -hmm. like, of course, the three P spend is going to be drastically higher. I mean, it's, it's what it's six X of what the other number of yeah. brands. Yeah. But they're, they're talking about the average. So the average, um, where was it? Average Come review. On, oh, no. yeah. Three P brands spend on average 127% more than a one P brand. So as an average. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's not like in total. Yeah. Total, of course, is going to be higher. But what they're doing is comparing the average monthly revenue to the average monthly advertising spend. And look at that 1P revenue. It's over three times what the average yeah. revenue 
Yes. You know, that's that's brand recognition for you. Yeah. Yeah, and that's going to be going up because the the consensus is that Amazon has been chopping a lot of one piece sellers that are under one million dollars in revenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think it, what's interesting too, I mean, the average amount of sellers per brand, one P it's like, Hey, I want to give my product to Amazon so they can help grow my brand. And there's eight different sellers, including Amazon selling on those listings. Yeah. On average. It's crazy. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So if you're out there listening and you own a brand, uh, just, I wouldn't go the one P route. Amazon doesn't care about you. They don't care yeah. about your product. They're not going to do anything to push it. You're just going to stagnate your, your product going the one P route. Yep. And much better have off a headache. Get much better off working with guys like us, really yes. guys like you. I only have one brand that I have exclusivity to these days, yep. but well, your your model is cool too, Danon, because it's easier to well, well, a lower cost to get into if you can Zero. find a brand to Zero. do it with. Where Zero you're doing cost. the yeah, because you you pay after the sales, right? You're doing yeah. it on consignment essentially. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So any of those models, but uh, work with someone. And if you're someone out there looking to sell products find those brands that uh, Amazon is selling and their listings are garbage. Yep. Reach out to them and, and try to improve them, improve yep. their sales yeah. for them. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know how to uh, figure out if someone, well, you know how, if it's one P it's shipped and sold by Amazon. I wonder if there's a way you could create a list of brands and I'll bet you smart scout has this data Definitely. But create a list of brands that I only want to see brands that are shipped and sold by Amazon. Boom. There's your hit list. Start contacting those brands. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you can do that easy in smart scout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would just be Todd probably sorting by the in stock of uh, Amazon in stock percentage. I mean, if it's at a hundred percent, then it's clearly, but that compared to the eight sellers, I mean, that might not work that sort in cool. smart scout. Now that I think about it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it might even be better to to select, you know, show me the ones where Amazon has been in stock, you know, like 25 to 50 percent of the time and yeah. doesn't have any uh, FBA sellers or something like that, because then you're looking at brands that Amazon is really hosing because mm -hmm. they're not even keeping their products in stock for them. Mm -hmm. um, so those might even be better to to reach out to. Good point. Or maybe they just have FBM sellers or just uh, one or two FBA sellers or something like that. And Amazon goes in and out of stock. I don't know how Amazon is so horrible with inventory management that they, but they have that on a lot of products that just go in and, and out of stock all the time. Same story. It's a logistics issue. Yeah. 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 But we got to fit in into that little window, right? Yeah. Above 28 days below like 60 yeah. days to, to make sure we're not getting hosed on storage and low inventory fees yeah that's what really kills me is is amazon's uh position of do as we say not as we do 